Over the past couple of weeks, racing has been a buzz with the Ready to Run sales and the Empress Palace Ready to Run Cup, which takes place at Turfentine this weekend. It is my great pleasure to have in the studio with me this evening, Mick Goss, champion breeder for the last seven consecutive years. Mick, welcome to Winner's Circle. Jules, it's always a pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. Well, let's just chat about the champion breeder because it's, I mean, it's hard enough just to win one title. You've won seven. Yeah, I've, uh, this is uh, evidence if ever it was needed that uh, you can come from the sticks and you can make a success of this game. But I have a wonderful team, as you well know, of energetic, enterprising people, of experienced people, the energy of youth. And uh, all of those things have come together for us and, and made it possible for us to compete in a very formidable environment. Um, but you've got to have it in here. Mm. And uh, I think that's true of, of any successful team. We've been very fortunate, though, um, and, you know, you can't do it forever. Uh, the juggernauts are coming, but we are very comfortable sitting where we are at the moment and uh, are very proud of what's happened. Well, what I love about your team as well, Mick, and I know the guys in racing are going to really have a dig at me about this when I'm back on the track, is that most of it's made up of women. You know, it's a <laughs> remarkable thing about horses. Hey? Women and horses have a wonderful empathy, and uh, there are real gaps, career gaps, mm. I mean, um, besides, this country is possessed of some of the most natural, highly talented stockmen imaginable. The most accomplished horsemen I've ever come across anywhere in the world. I've been to all the great farms of the world. I've never come across people, I'm talking now about our African people, mm. who have a stronger affinity for horses. And, and, and I've never seen a Zulu, because that's where I live, abuse a horse in my life. And I've never seen a horse abuse a Zulu. They're so totally passionate. They are completely mm. and very talented. Okay, now you brought the concept of the ready to run sales into South Africa. How did that concept come about? Oh, long, many years ago, I was unable to compete or Summerhill was unable to compete with the, the, the major farms in the country. I think the, the cost of entry in this game is high um, because people have their traditional relationships and so on. So we were battling to break in. And I was in Florida and America with Chris Smith, the late Chris Smith, and uh, we were told how they had had the same problem trying to sell their horses in Kentucky against the major breeders. And they decided to wrap their product up differently. And remember, this game is about running. It's not mm -hmm. about walking. So to sell a product ready to run so that people can actually see what they're buying gives the buyer, uh, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. You get about 16 out of 20 buying this way, whereas you, you, the conventional way, you, may, you might get 8 out of 20. So it's a great way, it's a great concept for people. They save money because the sale is much later. They save eight or nine months of keep. And of course, um, there's a very broad offering in a sale of this sort so that everybody can get a shot. We've got the old thing, the old saying, all can play, all can win. Mm -hmm. Victory goes to the hungry. And I think the ready to run cup exemplifies that. Little breeders, I mean little owners, little trainers, fillies, colts, they've all won the race. And of course, the, the healthy and the wealthy. Uh, and I think that exemplifies the spirit of the ready to run. Now, the sale takes place on Sunday at the Gosforth Park Complex, but it, it's grown in stature from when it first started to now more and more breeders are pushing their horses through. Why is that? Well, I think the, the lure of the two million rand prize, and of course next year it's possible if everybody ticks the box this year, that it could rival the Met. It could get to two and a half million rand. And of course, we know what it takes to get a runner in a race like the Met mm. or the Summer Cup or the, or the July. Uh, you've got to be in the top half percent or one percent of horses in the country. Here, you, you're competing with the other 150 or 160 horses in the sale. That's the total uh, eligible entry. And so you get a shot at running here uh, uh, considerably easier for the same stake money. And I think uh, um, clearly the success of the race, the success of the sale, uh, has lured uh, the major mm. breeders back into the, so, into the sale. So only horses that are passed through the ring at the sale on Sunday will be able to compete in next year's race? Yes, and provided the owner ticks the box. Okay. Yes. All right. So two, maybe two and a half million rand. This year looks to be a fantastic race. Two million rand up for grabs on Saturday at Turfentine. Of course, that will be in conjunction with uh, the Empress Palace Charity Mile, which also takes place on the day. But, I mean, the sale... The race, how does that look for you this year? Well, strangely enough, we don't have quite the, the, the depth of entry, Summerhill, mm. um, which is also encouraging because I think a lot more people are getting a look in at, at the race. But it's probably the most open event we've ever known. I don't think there's a, there's a horse standing out that says, 
as we had last year we, with Hollywood Boulevard and mm. Igugu, they dominated the betting, as you know, and there was nothing within 16 to 1, I don't think, uh, other than those two. Um, but, but this year, there's a very, very open look to the race. And of course, a couple of the better horses are drawn wide. Uh, so um, who knows what's going to happen on, on Saturday. I don't think there's anybody who can say confidently, I can mm. count on winning the Cup. Also, it's a sale that certainly provides for the first-time owners getting involved. Um, and also, it's affordable. It, it's, you can buy affordable horses. Well, e exactly. And you know, um, one of the great retailers in this country is Marcus Euster. And I, I asked him one day how he had grown his business. And he told me that um, he, by extending sensible credit. Mm. And so we had had this concept running for some years of, of a three-installment payment plan which is unique in the world. There is no other sale that offers it. And we've extended it to six payments now, which means that if you're buying a horse for 60,000, you get three installments, sure. 100, you get four, up to 200. You, when, once you hit 200 in aggregate purchases, you qualify for six installments. There is no other sale in the world that does that. And when you can buy from the top farms in the country on that basis, um, it, it, it's, uh, it's irresistible. Well, Mick, we will certainly be seeing you on Saturday at the races and definitely back on Sunday at Gosforth Park Complex. Thank you very much for being with us. It's my pleasure. Well, as I mentioned, the Empress Palace Charity Mile takes place as well on Saturday at Turfentine. Andrew Bond caught up with a couple of trainers to tell us which of their choices they thought would win.